What's good, everybody? The voice of the WGC back in the building. And we just went through the ringside report. So it's time to get down to the nitty gritty. It's time to review what we've seen. We've seen a couple of things from Universe Mode, My Rise, GM Mode, all of the above. You know how 2K's marketing is. Everything gets shown at the last and final minute. So let's get into it. These are my likes and don't likes. My likes and dislikes so far. So they say that match cards will expand based on difficulty. Well, from watching the stream, it seems like it's the same regardless of which difficulty it's on. Um, universe mode. So that was GM mode, and now this is universe mode. A lot of the same recycled cutscenes. And you claim that there's a story designer. But it's for rivalries only. So like. Yeah you can select them now. And select when they're going to happen. But if it's the same exact cutscenes. Who really cares? You can manually select the cutscenes. And it's not even... I'm not going to say that there's nothing that you can choose, but there needs to be a bigger variety, you know? But yeah, a lot of the same cutscenes, and it's rivalries only. No double titles and universe mode. What I mean by this is you cannot defend your titles if you're in universe mode. You have to defend them one by one. Which is a huge letdown. So like let's say Roman Reigns. If you wanted to put both titles on the line. You can't do that. You have to put one title on the line at a time. That's terrible. Belts look plastic. I was, I was looking at the bloodline. And... I'm just like, my goodness. These belts look like the junior belts the junior belts I used to get as a kid from Toys R Us and Walmart. You gotta make these belts look more authentic, more realistic. You got to. Whether it's through a patch or in 2K24, you gotta make these belts look more realistic. It is still two on two. There is no faction versus faction. So if you want to do the Judgment Day versus the Bloodline, you can't do that. That sucks. That really does suck. No blood improvements. No, I'm hearing that they didn't really take the time to really turn anything on or anything like that. But from what I've seen, a little bit of clips from a while ago... It looks like there wasn't even anything to improve or there was there weren't any improvements to begin with. This is one of my biggest pet peeves. It may be a minor detail to a lot of you, but it's a major detail to me. And I think that this needs to be fixed. Like I said, if not through a patch, through a later through a later edition of 2K, 2K24. Because there is no reason somebody should be getting hit with a weapon a million times and just have regular blood. And there is no reason. Let's talk about blood online. There's no reason why the only way I can make my opponent bleed online is through a first blood match. That's Come on, 2K. You got to stop that. What's, what's with all this censorship? You got to stop that. Um... No promos in universe. Um, the Royal Rumble winner still does not get a shot at WrestleMania. You see, a lot of you, you like to say that WWE 2K is a simulation-based game. And they're trying to mimic. Because simulation, you know what a simulation is. They're trying to mimic what you see on TV every single week. Well, riddle me this. 
If 2K is a simulation-based game, why can't they get the simple things right? If you win the Royal Rumble the last time I checked, you get a title shot at WrestleMania. Who is Cody Rhodes facing? Cody Rhodes is going up against Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. Who is Rhea Ripley facing? Who is Mommy's opponent, hmm? Who's Mommy's opponent? Who's Rhea, Ripley? Who's Rhea Ripley's opponent? Last time I checked, it was Charlotte Flair. You get a title shot if you win the Royal Rumble. You gotta fix that. You gotta fix that. Let's see. Um, the limits. Oh my goodness. The creation limits. 2K. You're telling me we are on the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. We are up another console generation. And you still... We still don't have more limits we still can't bump that up so here are the limits 1000 images 100 cost slots and 25 videos 25 video slots oh my goodness this is bad this is bad i don't know how many years i don't know how many games i don't know how many consoles it's going to take for us to get a slight increase this is terrible and for those of y'all acting like this is not, this is, this is not a huge issue, it's obvious that you have no creativity. It's obvious that your creative juices are never flowing. It's obvious that you don't know what it's like to be in the lab and spend countless hours, several hours in the lab creating somebody, creating the car of your dreams. We got to get rid of all these limitations, bro. You couldn't even give us a, a little, just a tiny boost? We couldn't even get 200 cost slots. We couldn't even get 1,000 images. We couldn't even get that. Man, come on, bro. Come on. And also, to expand on the creation suite, I saw a lot of the same hairstyles. It's a lot of the same old, same old. Have y'all never been to a barbershop or a salon or just went on the internet to begin with? Have y'all not done that and seen a lot of the unique hairstyles, especially for us? Especially for us. Brothers and sisters, all of our unique hairstyles that we have. What's up? We, man, it is, it's not even just 2K. It's with all these games in general. The lack of hairstyles for us is mind-blowing. It's crazy. You gotta up that up, whether it's through a patch or with WWE 2K24. But we've had a lot of the same hairstyles for years. And it still, it still looks the same. And not only that, not only that, but the customization of the actual car. I mean, you can do a little bit of stuff with the weight and with the um, with the height, but it still isn't the same. 2K, you need to bring back body morphing and full customization. See, this is why a lot of individuals prefer 2K19, and this is why a lot of individuals crawl are crawling back to Ukes and say that Ukes is better. Because this is one thing that you can't seem to get checked. And that's the customization. I don't want the big show built like Brock Lesnar. I don't want that. We need full body customization. We need body morphing back now more than ever. All right. Hopefully we can get it through a patch or through 2K24. But we definitely need that. And we need it ASAP. So that about wraps it up for the creation suite. Seems like the same old, same old. But I will say, I will say that looking at the um the cars, they look better. They look more like realistic humans than they do virtual created superstars. They look like humans. I like that. And also a few of my other likes. I love the UI. The UI is clean. You got all the effects going on in the background, the moving graphics. I love that. Beautiful. War Games is indeed playable in universe mode. That's a W. Because I honestly didn't think that it was going to happen. I thought that you were going to just let it be playable outside of universe mode. But it is playable inside universe mode, which is a W. 
um, you boosted up the upload slots. See, this is what I don't get. You boosted up the upload slots, but not the download slots. Come on, 2K. So instead of 40 upload slots, we now have 80 upload slots. That's a W. Um, the lighting, the lighting is very good. I've seen a lot of the entrances, a lot of the entrances, and I'm looking at the reflections. Beautiful effects. Great. Lighting is great. Everything is great. Um, but the thing that I don't like is it seems like for some superstars, you didn't get their theme, the right theme song. It seems like you got an edited version. And also, it seems like there's not enough pyro for some superstars. The um, the crowd is not loud enough. Yeah, I've, like I said, I've been to plenty WWE events. Don't tell me, uh, don't tell me that this is realistic because I've been to plenty WWE events, including WrestleMania. I want to feel like my ear, my eardrums are bleeding. All right, that is not a WWE crowd, so you're gonna have to boost that up, definitely. Also, the crowd has to be in, make sure the crowd is in sync too. That's another thing that I did not like. Um, my Rise Unlockables, I like that. I like the fact that you can go into My Rise, and you can um, you can unlock things. I hope that we get more than John Paul Levesque and more than Mari Mari Mali. I hope so. I really do. But I love the fact that you can unlock stuff via game modes. And that needs to be a thing with my faction in the near future too. It needs to be. Another couple things that I do not like. The damage. Like, It seems like the tiniest moves... Can get you stunned but it seems like a lot of the devastating moves or the devastating errors don't get you stunned i was watching a video and i believe he had johnny gargano well, did he have johnny gargano i gotta go back and look at it but yeah i think he did have johnny gargano and he did a moonsault off the turnbuckle and the opponent, because it was basically a ladder bridge, okay? You know what a ladder bridge is. You set the ladder in between, you know, it's on the apron, one side, and the other side is on the barricade. So his opponent was on, was on top of a ladder, ladder bridge. And so Johnny Gargano, the player went for a moonsault, and he failed. Because the opponent moved, and Gargano ended up hitting himself on the ladder. How is that not an automatic stun, 2K? How is that not an automatic stun? That's an automatic stun in real life. The wrestler will be down for a good minute if that happened in real life. Same thing with getting put through something or getting hit with something. They should not be able to pop up back to their feet immediately. That is not realistic. See, a lot of y'all, like I was saying, a lot of y'all like to talk about how 2K is the greatest example of a WWE simulation, but you could just watch one episode of Raw, one episode of NXT, one episode of SmackDown, and you can immediately spot the flaws, the simulation flaws in this game. It is not as realistic as you think it is. I'm just keeping it real. A lot of y'all like to sit here and be like, oh, going back out the other video and be like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Um, yeah, I do know what the fuck I'm talking about. I've been playing wrestling games for quite a while. My whole entire life. I know what I'm talking about, bruh. And at the end of the day, like I said, this is not a fanboy account. We don't stand a certain promotion. We like all promotions that provide good wrestling. But the end goal is to make the greatest wrestling games. And once again, there's a lot of holes in this game. Now, some things can be patched, and I hope they will be patched. But with these patches, it also comes the possibility of the patch breaking something else. 
And you know what happened with 2K22. Everybody's talking about how good these new universe mode features is. It's like, yeah. They're decent and all, but... How is this game going to perform? That is what I'm curious about. How are the servers going to perform? Because... When you give me these these call limits, when you give me these creation limits, the same creation limits than we had in twenty the two K twenty two, it seems to me like you didn't do any server stability improvements, and it seems like your servers can't handle it. Because you can add anything you want to my rise, you can add anything you want to my GM, you can add anything you want you want to universe mode. But if it's gonna keep consistently crashing, it's gonna be unplayable. But that about wraps it up. I'm going to say one last thing because I, I have to get this off my chest. I was also watching a live stream. And I'll leave it in the description. But one of the 2K Next Makers, like, this is scary, bro. One of the 2K Next Makers said that he spotted a problem in 2K22 that was not a factor in 2K23. And... He said that one of the people on the team came up to him and they questioned him. And they were like, why are you smiling so much? And he had to tell them, you know, going deaf, this is why, you know, da, 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 this was a problem in 2K22. And I'm happy that you fixed it. Or that they noticed a problem and they were asking why the game kept crashing. And they had to tell them. And that's kind of scary if you really think about it. So you're telling me that there's a lot of individuals on the team that have no idea what's going on with their game? You telling me it took a 2K next maker. Somebody that... you Let me get this straight. You are playing this game 24-7, 365. You are around this product before anybody else. You, you're, you're the people that work on this game. And you're telling me it took a next maker to spot out the problems before you? That's crazy. And that really kind of gets me scared and it makes me think. How much do you really look at your game and pay attention to all the bugs and the glitches? I don't know, bro. I don't know about you, but that kind of rubs me the wrong way. I don't know if you, I don't know what you got going on over there, two K. But you're gonna have to hire more. <clears throat> you're gonna have to hire more people, ASAP. And another thing is, he asked one of them about the content locked behind my faction, and they came up with a bunch of excuses. So. I know we like to rag on the program a lot. I know we like to tell y'all how we feel about the program and tell y'all what's going on. But it seems to me like the next makers don't even get full control either because it seems like there's a lot of things that they tried to pitch to the, to the 2K team and they completely got ignored. They completely got neglected and they got left in the dark. They got lied to once again. So if we, the consumer, are being ignored, if the next makers themselves are being ignored and being lied to and getting a bunch of bullshit spewed when they're literally right in front of each other, direct eye contact, and they can lie to you like that, that's kind of sad, man. That's kind of sad. It really is. But, hey... That was then. Once again, if you go watch the previous video, I'm going to say it again. I think that this should that this game should have an open beta. <clears throat> I think that more people should be able to get involved. I think that this game should have a demo or something. I think that this should, the creators should have full access to this game more than twice. Because I believe they had two appearances. The first time was the Royal Rumble and the second time was about two weeks ago. And they only had seven hours to play? Yeah, I believe it was one or two weeks ago. And they only had seven hours to play? 2K, you got to do better than that, man. These are the individuals, once again, that you, that you handpicked to be the spokesman of your game, to promote your game, to be the creators of your game, the content creators, the faces of your game. And you're going to do them dirty like this? If we get treated like shit, and the next makers, 
you know, they're getting some things listen some things are being listened to but not all of them then i don't know what to say bro cuz this goes back to what i was saying at the end of the day one of my favorites he's been in the, he's been on the team for a while he's been he's been in this shit since SVR 2006 b will knows what the fuck he's talking about but at the end of the day the 2k executives the creative director the 2k ceo take to interactive Anybody you want to name that's on a higher level than the next makers and B will, they get to make the final decisions. And they get to pick what stays in the game and what goes from the game. The new things that enter the game and the old things that get out the game. What makes the game and what doesn't make the game. They get the final say. But hey, we'll see. They got to try out the game twice. Still not enough. They got to play the game for a couple of hours. Still not enough. But, hey, next week, we will see what 2K has in store for us. Don't forget to keep it locked here because we will be showing everything. Oh, yeah. I mean everything. It ain't going to be no sugarcoating. It ain't going to be no show five minutes here, five minutes. No, no, no. Everything will be shown on this live stream next week. So if you want to know more about WWE 2K23, if you want to know if this game is worth it or not, keep it locked right here next week. Don't miss it. But with that being said, it's Sunshine TV, and we out here. One love. God bless. See you in the next one. Peace.